Hey guys, welcome back to Enchanted by You. My name is Cassandra. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been with me for a long time, thank you very much. I really appreciate you coming back time after time after time. And I hope you like the videos that I'm making. If you do, make sure to hit that like button. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. We have a lot of cool things coming out and I really think you're going to like them. So uh, join us for the ride. I think it'll be a good one. Today, I want to do something different than what I typically do for a video. Now, I have a clip that I recorded a while back. Basically, I'm going down a really, really haunted road. And I had been down this road earlier that night. And I saw this huge, huge animal that I've never seen before. And this was out in Arizona. So I'm pretty familiar with all the wildlife in Arizona. Never seen anything like this. And this was gigantic. Anyway, so I go back out on this road later on that night because I wanted to do a spirit box for a girl in white that supposedly wanders the road. Anyway, so I was looking for this girl and I got really creeped out on this road. Just really had bad feelings. Something just didn't seem right. So I decided to turn around. I had gone out about maybe two miles in the desert at that point and I was way out in the middle of nowhere. And then I turn around and I'm going back and maybe get half mile, a mile back in, closer to the main road because I'm on a dirt road, you know, still looking for this lady in white. And I see what I believe to be is a skinwalker. Now I have actually lightened this video up and blown it up for you guys, but I need your help to see what you guys see. And I am okay at video editing, but I am not the best at video editing. So my skills are limited when it comes to really being able to bring something like this out. But let me tell you what I saw. I don't even know. <laughs> Should I tell you guys? I want to hear really bad what you guys see. So leave it in the comments below. And also, if you see the lady in white walking on the road, I want to know about that too. So make sure you leave it in the comments below with a timestamp. I want to know everything you guys see on this. Okay, so watch the road very closely. And oh, one thing, there is no spirit box here. But keep in mind, we're out looking for these spirits. And I kind of got a little too freaked out to actually do the spirit box. So what happened was there is this old truck and the first time that I came upon it I my lights hit it and I saw it I slowed down no one was living in this truck this was like a 1980s truck with one of the big camper shells on it and there were like weeds growing up around the wheels and stuff I mean that's how old this truck was it's been sitting out here abandoned in the middle of the desert for a long time uh, it had one of those big camper shells on like the old ones you know with the door in the back and the door was looked like it had been broken off there wasn't really anything that I saw there uh, so you could see straight into this camper and completely abandoned right nothing seemed weird about it at the time it just looked like an old abandoned truck when I'm turning around though and I'm coming back in my lights hit this truck and I was going to shine my lights on this truck and there about eight foot tall standing staring inside the truck with his back to me he was seriously eight feet tall was the most gorgeous black man that anyone has ever seen and on top of that he's standing there naked I mean he looked like a god or someone that like the Greeks would sculpt out like someone who wasn't who was so perfect that it wasn't even real but this this was like someone who worked out all the time and who took really good care of themselves and just like you could see like every little muscle on him and I I, I only went by him for a second but like he was there and he was standing perfectly looking into this camper and when my lights hit him nothing like he didn't flinch Nothing. I, I can't believe it. I was so far out in the desert. I was like at least a mile, mile and a half out in the desert when I when I came across this truck. Yeah, so I've done my best to blow this video up. Uh, I did my best to highlight it the way that I, I could, but I need you guys, someone who has great video skills or anything who can help me. I want you guys to look at this video and see what you see and what you find and let me know. Okay, we're gonna get into the video. Oh, before we go, uh, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Also, gonna have a whole bunch of new merch out, so keep checking back at teespring.com because 
really cool stuff coming out. Um, I even have like a widget shirt coming out and I have some other just really beautiful sayings and things coming out for those of us who have lost loved ones recently that, you know, we, we keep them in our heart. So, uh, I have some just a little bit of everything. So make sure you check out teespring.com and let's get into this video. And, oh, I hope you guys, I hope you guys see what I'm seeing. Or who knows, maybe you'll find the lady in white. But either way, leave it in the comments below with the timestamp and we'll see what we can do. Okay guys, so this is the road that we're going on. And it's really creepy out here. It's really, really creepy out here. Let me tell you kind of the story about what we are doing out on this road. Um, so, I was, I've been staying in Phoenix a lot this summer and, um, and visiting Sedona a lot and going to a lot of creepy places around. Uh, Phoenix area. Uh, well, Sedona is about two hours out of Phoenix. But this time when I was going to Sedona, it was in the evening. And I was driving up to Sedona like I always do. It wasn't a big deal. And when I started getting close to Sedona, I felt a presence in the back seat of my car. And not only felt a presence in the back seat of my car, I also saw in the back seat of my car like two or three times and so I didn't think much of it and kind of ignored it because that has happened to me several times before well then what happened is and this was like right when I was getting ready to pull off to Sedona I felt this crazy okay that is creepy I felt this crazy presence and then I, I tried to ignore it but it felt like someone started hard kicking the back of my seat so I yelled and I said that it, you know whoever's in here needs to get out leave me alone um, you know if you're not the one that I'm coming to see this weekend then I don't want to talk to you and they they left um, I kind of saw glimpses of them like one more time uh, I don't think it was much more than just one more time and that was pretty much it I haven't seen them so we were looking up, I was with a friend and we were looking up cool places to go in Sedona and um, they had mentioned that there is this horrible tragedy that happened out here um, a while back and we are on the road for that. And I said, yeah, we can go there, but I one of the other places I wanna go is there was this man who um, had murdered two women and he was a very prominent man in Sedona. He had his own business, he did real estate, he did some other businesses. But basically, he, um, sorry I'm sick, I'm really allergic every time I come to Phoenix, I get, I'm really allergic to, to Phoenix and its surrounding areas. But there was this man who was very prominent and was very well known in the community in the Sedona area and around and everyone liked him nothing was thought much of about him until he was caught the police I don't know how they did it but they found that he had a woman in a freezer for they said at least six months she had been in that freezer um, inside his house so that was kind of creepy and then they started investigating into some other stuff and they think that whoa something huge just flew over us they think that also um that he was responsible for a murder of another girl and the other girl her name is marjorie hope and she was murdered in 1992 she worked at a t-shirt shop and on Halloween night, she disappeared. Later on, on this road, the police found her car with the keys in in it, her stuff in it, 
and they went around searching for her and they found that someone had shot her in the head and dismembered her afterwards. They only found pieces of her. So it, it was, you know, a good story, but it was kind of a long ways away, I thought, from where I was going to be staying the night. And so I was like, well, I'll have to do that maybe next time, you know, see if I can go out and talk to her next time. Because if there's any, you know, spirit that that needs help, you know, I'm sure she would probably need help. So I'll next time I come to Sedona, I'll just make sure I go out and find her and help. So we decided that we would go to this other, like, tragic accident that took place in Sedona and try and find it. Well, when we got on the road for, like, this really crazy dirt road that I'm going down right now, when we got on this road, my GPS said it was the same, had the name of the road listed. And on my friend's GPS, it said that it was the road... It, it, the road had like three names. It said it was like Angel something road or whatever. But when we got on this road, my GPS put up the correct name of the road that Marjorie's body was found on. So anyway, like I said, I was sick and we got out here and I thought, oh my gosh, not only are we going to do this huge tragedy and this, this accident, I'm going to record you guys a video for that. But I also want to see if I can talk to Marjorie. Well, me being kind of stupid and with allergies and stuff stuffed up, I forgot all my camera stuff. Even though I was coming out here to record, I forgot it all in the hotel room. So I had to go back and get all my stuff. Unfortunately, my friend was really tired. So he went um, to his room and went to sleep. And I am out here recording by myself because he's got to work a lot this weekend. Um, and he couldn't come back out. So I said, there's just too many coincidences here. And I just knew that like it all clicked together. Like that, that the girl or the person who was in the back seat of my car this whole time was this Marjorie and I needed to find her and find out about her. So I'm a little too creeped out, I think, to get out of the car, which seems strange because this is very, very Native American territory, and I've already seen some weird, creepy things happening around here. Plus, we are also by a creek, so we have that, which is really creepy. So I figure we'll drive down the road, and then I'll also do a spirit box, but we'll drive down the road and see maybe if Marjorie would be walking down the road if we could see her. Um, so let's go a little bit further in. Now there's a couple other reasons that it's not really safe for me to be on this road. Um, it, it's just, you know, it's in the middle of the night. There's a lot of wild animals out here. There are coyotes out here. It's kind of a rough road, so I have to worry about, you know, having a tire blow out or something crazy like that. But if you see a lady walking along this road, if you catch that, please in the comments below, let me know what time you saw her so we can all see her. Because if there's ever going to be a woman a, a lost soul, I guess you could say, wandering a road, I unfortunately think it would be her. And like I said, I am drawn to being out here to trying to help her. I don't want to go too far out though. But right now, no matter what, if anything happened to me, I'm like stuck living in my car at least till morning. I learned <laughs> coming up to Sedona and everything that there isn't any Uber or anything really up here. And there's only a couple taxis. Oh, now, guys, this gets really cool. This right here is the, tra is the entrance to the tragedy that I was talking about. I hope you guys can see that all well. Let me see. 
I don't know if you can see that. But do you see this huge wooden structure in front of us? This is the entrance to, it's like Angel Ranch or something. There, since we are right outside Sedona, there's like a spiritual vortex here. And people are meeting out here. But what happened was a tragedy that took place out here is the man had started a sweat lodge. And it, it went terribly wrong one night. He had a lot of people out here to be near the vortex and to go to this sweat lodge, which is right down by water. And you all know, of course, that that's a lot of energy. And the sweat lodge caught on fire. Now, three people actually burned in that fire to death and 19 other people in the sweat lodge in that fire were injured. So on top of that, having a, like a creek out here, I'm sure there's a lot of spiritual energy out here. But like I said, I'm not getting the feeling that it's Marjorie out here. I mean, I'm not getting the feeling that it's them. Now I'm gonna come out here during the day and I will record that and we can do some spirit boxes. But I really think that this spirit that's been kind of following me around since I got close to Sedona, I really truly think it's Marjorie. So we're gonna go up here where I feel a little bit safer and actually closer to where they found her well, they found pieces of her anyway. We're going to go up here and we're going to try and do a spirit box session. It's so funny because I'm like, well, I don't want to do the spirit box session in the car because I don't want to invite any spirits in the car. But on the flip side, I already had the, I, I mean, she was already in the car, I guess. So, you know. I was just thinking to myself, how am I going to do the spirit box session for you guys? Because I don't really want to get out because there's a lot of like, <sighs> um, homeless people out here and not that homeless people are bad or anything. I don't have anything against homeless people whatsoever. Um, in fact, I think it's really cool because a lot of people in Sedona have gotten together and bought tents for the homeless people out here. So they kind of have their own community which is great, but again, you know, you, they're all strangers to me. I don't know who these people are, you know. I don't know if I can trust them or not. I'm all by myself and all alone. So I was like, I don't really want to get out. Also, the wild animals and everything. Plus, I've seen some really weird, let's put it this way. I don't know if I caught it on video or not. I'm hoping that I did. But when my friend and I were driving back after I realized that I had forgotten my camera, I saw the weirdest looking animal run in front of the car. And I was describing it to him. And he's like, we don't have animals like that. That Those kind don't exist. And seriously, the way that it looked, it couldn't have existed. It was, it was weird. And so what was else was creepy is that all of a sudden both of our minds went to like Skinwalker, you know? So I really don't want to get out of the car. So we'll pick a nice spot where Marjorie was found up here closer. Maybe not so secluded because I, I worry about the wild animals and everything. And we'll do a spirit box with Marjorie, but I don't want to be inviting any like skinwalkers around either because I'll tell you, the animal I saw was not an animal. And we even stayed in the car, but we stopped to see if we could see it, and it was not an animal. And then look at this guy. There's a really creepy man right there. 
there's a really freaking creepy man like standing there like staring into that trailer and that trailer we were just driving by it earlier it's like abandoned okay and there's like a naked man standing at that abandoned like truck trailer thing what in the world like I'm out in the middle of nowhere how am I gonna run into like some naked man at some abandoned truck just like standing staring into that okay so this is really really creepy out here I think guys and I'm sorry about this but I think I'm gonna do the spirit box in the day cuz after that that just like really creeped me out so Marjorie I'm sorry honey but I'm gonna have to come talk to you in the daytime cuz there's some random weird naked man walking out here in the middle of nowhere <laughs> And it's just right in this place back here. It's just me and him. Um, and that's creepy. Especially a place where, you know, dead girls have been found. And they didn't, you know, they think that that guy was the killer. I'm not sure if they ever found out if he was the killer. The cases seemed a little similar. They know, of course, the, that he was the killer for the girl that they found, obviously, in his freezer. But I don't know if they ever found out that he was the killer for Marjorie Hope, who was out here. And so, yeah. Okay, there's like some tourist people camping out here. And they've got like Christmas lights or something on. But it's 1.20 in the morning. Okay, so I've seen naked man, men wandering around and um, possibly skinwalkers. And I know there's all kinds of energy here because I am right up on a vortex. And so if you guys see anything, I'm sorry about the loudness of the road in this video. But if you guys see anything, please leave it in the comments below. I love you all. I'm at least glad that you guys are here because then I don't feel alone if I'm talking to you all through the camera. I missed you much. I hope everyone's doing good. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel because that helps out a lot. And whatever spirits are around right now, I'm sorry, but you cannot follow me back to the hotel. They can't follow me home, but I will come out tomorrow during the daytime to talk to you. And I think we're almost finished with this road. I hope we're almost finished with this road. This is one of the, actually this is the second scariest road I think I've ever been on. The first scariest road was going to it's actually called demon road and it leads to martha martha chapel cemetery in um like it's north it's in a little town north of houston and that road was so scary that i uh and that cemetery was so scary i was going to go record on my own and i did not i i would not even stop it was so scary it was just too, too creepy. Okay, yay, and I'm back on the highway. So, I love you guys, and I will talk to you all soon. Okay, guys, so what did you think? Oh, another thing I need to tell you about this video. I went through all my GoPro videos when I got back to my hotel that night, and this video was gone. I recorded this video almost a year ago now, and this video, gone, 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 gone. I had like 10 videos on my camera and this one was nowhere to be seen. So 
I looked, I looked, I looked, I wanted this video to show this man to you guys. I think it's a skinwalker. I really do. I think it was a skinwalker out in the middle of the desert. I also think that it's related some way to that huge animal that I saw. Whatever it was, it was not part of my rea my typical reality. Uh, he was amazing. He just, him and that animal, just amazing. So yeah, so I lost the video forever. I don't know what happened to it. And then I'm getting ready to do my Halloween videos for you all. And now all of a sudden I find it and I find this video, but it was really hard for me because it wasn't working in my video editor, but it was working on like a regular windows program. So I had all these, all, I had a really hard time getting you guys that clip. So hopefully you guys saw what I saw. Maybe you guys were able to clarify the picture. If you are able to clarify it, and you find anything on there, um, besides leaving it in the comments, you can always send me pictures and stuff over at Twitter. Um, it's just Enchanted by You on Twitter, and yeah, can't wait to see what you guys find. I love you all, I hope you all are doing great, and I will be talking to you soon. Bye.